there are certain salient emphasis that are very heavy but in themselves they are very quiet and salient that until the Holy Ghost opens your eyes you won't see them you know when you are reading the Bible your focus of course apart from the revelation of Jesus you are looking at Elijah you are looking at Isaiah you are looking at Jeremiah you are looking at Paul And you may make the mistake of assuming that the only time you are relevant with God is when you are a prophet or an apostle preaching the gospel. In our generation today, the moment somebody is on fire, they force him with a collar. He must preach the gospel. So when God brings emphasis like this, sometimes he draws our attention to some very important aspects of his ordination that are not emphasized. Imagine for a second that a young lady will have to suffer and endure the pressure to keep her virginity and serve God to a point where she can discern an angel. You know, you know what it means for you to have an encounter with an angel and not just an angel, an archangel and you are not about to become a prophet. The whole idea behind the encounter is for you to become pregnant with a child. And then there is a Joseph that God had to deal with, carry through process. And the whole relevance of Joseph's life is to be able to hear angelic whisper. And the whole idea behind hearing angelic voice is so that he can escape with Jesus and protect him. Because the truth is that Jesus didn't come into the world to be a carpenter. And I wonder what you want to teach Jesus. Because at the age of 12, the people who were doctors of the law, he was already teaching them. So Joseph did not really teach Jesus anything. And Jesus didn't come to be a carpenter. So the reason why Joseph had to be spiritual enough to be able to discern angelic frequency is so that he can save Jesus Christ. Take him to Egypt. When the time was right, he had another angel brought Jesus back and he's finished. You may not see that in the Bible until God draws your attention to things like this. You know, when we talk about the core, people think it's apostleship, being a prophet. Some of you, your core is to be able to raise a godly child because God wants to raise a global prophet in the next 10 years. And so the hour, the time, the season is not yet ripe. And so God is carrying you through process now so that when you marry in 10 years' time, your womb will become a gate. And so when people are living worldly, God is hard on you. You are thinking that one day you will become a global voice. It has nothing to do with your voice. It has everything to do with the discipline to raise a child that will go in the way of the Lord. You may be doing evangelism. You may be winning souls. A church may even ordain you as a pastor because of your fire. But your calling is to raise a child. And if you don't have the discernment, you may be on fire winning souls and your children will be wayward. You will go to heaven and fail. That's why the subject matter is one that only God will open your eyes to see. Hope you know that because every pastor wants ministry to expand. Anybody who is on fire becomes a vessel. But it's not everybody who is on fire was brought and set on fire to open a branch of the ministry. Some people are set on fire because they need to raise a prophet. As simple as this sounds, your, your existence depends on your realization of this truth and giving yourself to it. Ask God to open your eyes. One more time. Be genuine. Be deliberate. Father, even if it is to win one soul, help me to get that person. If it is to raise a godly seed, help me. Some of you here, the reason God is strict with you, you may think it's because he wants to send you to Europe to preach. No. The reason God is strict with you is because he wants you to be a kingdom financier. So that when money comes to your hand, you can part ways with it. That's why you are going through the whole dealings. You may not even know. But at the end of the day, the reason your life will matter is because you found this call. Please save yourself from the pressure 
of wanting to hold microphone and preach because you are on fire. You may be on fire, but the purpose of that fire is to be able to part way with money so that kingdom can be sponsored. You may be on fire, but the purpose of that fire is to be able to raise a godly child so that your son can become a voice. You may be on fire, but the purpose of that fire is to encourage another person to find his own calling. Please know why you are here. 